Hello my friends and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. In today's video we are going to start the last DLC of this game called Witch Hunt. And from what I understand the witch that is being hunted is Morrigan so I'm very excited to start this DLC and that's all I have so let's just get started. And we're going to import from another module. And it looks like we have Edward from Origins, Edward from Awakening, I guess. And then Edward from, I'm guessing this was from the Golems. Yeah, Golems of Mgarek. So let's import this one. Flemeth once told me that temptation lies in the forbidden. Do not follow me, I said. Harder words I have never spoken. Some doors should never be reopened. It's, I'm assuming this is Alfred. I'm so glad he's back. Uh, but let's see. I'm glad you're here. I can't do this alone. You remember this place, don't you, boy? It's been so long. Our scouts saw a woman here. Do you think it was Morgan? Well, let's go with that one. Sad wine. We'll find Morgan, I promise. Don't worry. We'll find Morgan and make her pay. Wow. Well, you'll help me get the child back, won't you? Hmm. Um... Well, if I find Morgan, I'm probably going to find my child. So let's go with the first one. We'll find Morgan, I promise. Happy Bark. Oh, my dog's name is Alfred. Let's let's correct that. Hello, Alfred. And then new quest in search of Morgan. New quest, or new codex Mabari Hound. So let's look at the quest. The scouts you stationed to watch Flemeth's hut have sighted a mysterious woman lurking about the area. Go to Flemeth's hut in the Kakari wilds to investigate this. Oh, I'm so excited. We're going to look for Morgan. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm being a little overly excited, but I love Morgan and Edward together. And let me live in my fantasy world where they're going to have my, my fantasy of a fantasy world where they're going to have a happy end date. Okay, don't don't judge me too harshly. <laughs> The Mavari Hound, Alfred, has returned to your side after some time spent in the kennels in Denerim. Ferelden lost many of its war dogs during the Blight. Uh, I, I remember killing several. And Kennel Master selected your prized hound to strengthen their packs. <laughs> he has been mated with female hounds from all over Ferelden and has sired several litters of puppies. Well, that does explain his absence in Awakening. But let me take a moment to level up Alfred and I shall be right back. Okay, Alfred is all set up and ready to go. It's interesting, he has some warrior talents like Second Wind and Peon's Flight and Massacre and all that stuff. So I, I thought that was interesting. But anyway, let's quick save and let's look around. I feel like we're really close. Let's look around. There's something over here, a small clearing. This should be easy enough. Flemeth's demise, the death of Flemeth question mark? I'm pretty sure the dragon was dead. Flemeth saved you during the first stages of the Blight, and her daughter Morgan helped nurse you and Alistair back to health. Morgan later revealed that Flemeth was an abomination who has sacrificed her daughters to preserve her own unnatural life. You agreed to confront Flemeth before she could sacrifice Morgan, and found the en enigmatic old crone <laughs> at her hut in the wilds. After a short exchange, she shapeshifted into a high dragon, and with difficulty, you killed her. So much about Flemeth remains a mystery. Standing in front of her deserted home in the marsh, in the marsh, sent a shiver up her up your spine like someone walking over a grave. Her death question mark? I'm pretty sure she died, but I guess future games will confirm or deny it as true. Uh, let's actually get all my buffs on case there is a fight coming and let's go into Flemeth's hut. Uh, 
Hmm, well, that's not Morrigan. Not another step. What are you doing here? Call off your hound, Shem. Mm, I don't think so. Lawyer your weapon, easy there, boy. Well, I'm not going to call off my hound until you tell me what you're doing here. I believe I asked you first. Yes, but I have the dog. Ugh. <laughs> Fine. I am Ariane of the Dalish people. My keeper sent me to find Asha Belinar, the woman of many years. Hmm. I'm here because my scouts thought you were someone else. Plymouth is, Plymouth is dead. I'm Edward. I'm looking for Morgan. Well, why is she looking for Asha Bellinar? I'm assuming that's Plymouth. We thought she could help us find her daughter, Morrigan. The young witch has caused trouble for my clan. Has she earned your ire as well? Well, not particularly. Yes, when I find her, I'm going to kill her. Oh my gosh, Edward, let's not be drastic. Um, she's taken my child. Yes, I love her. Yes, she's a friend and I'm concerned for her. Well, I don't think this woman needs to know the specifics of my relationship with Morrigan, especially if she doesn't like her. So what happened is between Morrigan and me. Morrigan stole an ancient book my clan has guarded since the days of Arlathan. We were the only ones with such a piece of our history. Everything we once had. All legacy of our ancient magics were stripped from us. First by the Tevinter Magisters, then by the Wretched Circle. And Morrigan took what little was left. Well, what's so special about this book? For almost 2,000 years, the Dalish people have been wanderers. A shadow of what we once were. This book, as much of a mystery as it is to us, is one of the only clues on how to reclaim that past. My keeper, Solon, says it was a treatise on something the ancients called Alluvian. The word is as old as the book itself, and its meaning has been lost, save perhaps to Morrigan. Hmm. Well, how do you know that Morrigan stole it? I mean, I'm assuming she did, because that, let's be honest, it sounds like something Morrigan would do. One month ago, she visited our clan in the name of friendship, and took great interest in our history. She knew exactly what she was looking for. The Keeper allowed her to see the book. Two nights later, it was gone. Okay, so what now? Help me. We both want Morrigan. And we can aid each other. The Book of Alluvian was reclaimed from my clan by an elven mage who stole it from the Circle of Magi before defecting. He said other similar treasures remain in the library, but they would never allow a Dalish to view them. Perhaps you will meet a different reception. Probably. They they do kind of owe me. Yeah, they, they need to let me and I'm a Grey Warden who saved their behinds. Masirinus, I look forward to working with you. Okay, great. Quest updated. You discovered that the woman at Flemeth's hut was a Dalish elf named Ariane. Morgan stole an ancient book on something called Alluvian. Alluvian? Alluvian, I think she said? From Ariane's clan, and now Ariane is hunting her down. Ariane suggests you go to the Circle's library, which contains books similar to the one her clan lost. You might be able to find out why Morgan is interested in Alluvian. <laughs> okay, and oh, it looks like she's a two-handed warrior. So let's just, we'll just leave her be for her right now, but let's see what else there is in here chest let's get started contents of this chest have long since been removed the only place in the hut not covered in a fine layer of dust is this should be easy enough around the fireplace it looks like the fire was recently lit probably by Ariane this bed doesn't look like it's been slept in for years except for Let's get started. The recent intrusion. The whole place looks abandoned. How long has it been since Origins? I mean, I'm always con trying to figure out. If, I, I know this is supposed to come last in the whole Origins series, but I'm assuming the. Oh my goodness. I'm assuming Origins is obviously done. Awakening is done. But how long has it been? Like multiple years, a few months, but. Okay, anyway, let's kill some Darkspawn. 
take care of that emissary. I will taunt. And... Oh, <laughs> good job, Alfred. You're a good mage killer. Great. Lovely. All right, what do... I'm sure we can chat later. Oh, we can chat later. On it. I didn't actually mean to click on you. Let's get started. Let's see what else we have. Just some more money that I no doubt don't need for anything anytime soon. Well, it looks like we're all done around here. So let's head out to the world map, I suppose. And we can only really go to... Um... Circle Tower, but Lothering was one of the many southern towns wiped out during the recent blight. Templars, bandits, and soldiers alike defended fleeing refugees when the Darkspawn came. Elder Miriam and the village council have been slowly rebuilding Lothering. They decided a shrine outside the new chantry to the hero Ferelden. Oh, they dedicated a shrine outside the new chantry to the hero Ferelden and others who sacrificed their lives to stop the blight. Well, that's cool. Along with the shores of Lake Callanhad lies the thriving village, fishing village of Redcliffe. The Banorn are increasingly looking to the Arl of Redcliffe for leadership. If this trend continues, Denera may have a new rival to the west. Rutro. Years after the death of the Archdemon, Denerim has almost fully recovered from the war. The ports once are once again bustling and pilgrims are flocking to the birthplace of Andraste. Only the elven alienage lags behind in its war-torn building still in major disrepair. So it sounds like it has been, what, three years? Several years or years after. So that means like three, four, probably not ten. Vigil's Keep is a strategic gateway between the coastal lowlands of Amaranthine and the rest of Ferelden. The Mother's Darkspawn Hordes besieged this fortress two years ago. Okay, well that gives us some timing. And were destroyed by the Wardens. Repairs are still underway, and with Mistress Woolsey's assistance, the Vigil will quickly outgrow its original walls. The Vigil's guards patrol the Pilgrim's Path and the North Road, which has led to several merchants setting up in your keep. If this continues, Vigil's keep will rival Amaranthine's splendor and wealth. Okay, Lake Hallenhead docks. Um, the only means to reach the tower, yeah. Kadash Taig lies far beneath the earth. Okay. Orzammar, great underground Taig. This is one of the last remaining fortress cities of the dwarves. Orzammar's role in the Blight is fresh in Ferelden's mind and has resulted in increased trade and stronger diplomatic ties between the two kingdoms. Whether that will last is anyone's guess. And then finally, Circle Tower, rising out of the middle of Lake Callanhead. This tower is home to Ferelden's Circle of Magi. While macabre tales of abominations, demons, and tragedy were common during the war, visitors report that the tower is now quiet, with Templars and mages going about their own business. Well, this was a nice little mini update on the status quo. So it's been two, three years, probably. I like all the little updates. Welcome to Ferelden's Circle of Magi. Please, keep your hound under control. Some of the apprentices are easily startled. And I see you have a Dalish elf with you. Is that a problem? Yeah, is that a problem? <laughs> uh, let's see. Ariana can be trusted. Ariane can be trusted. Or, well, can she be trusted? Well, Ariane, let me handle this. I think that's a better... That's better in vain with where we are relationship-wise with her. Whatever reasons I may have to dislike this place and your people, I swear we are here only for research. As you say, the Circle is glad to have you as a guest. As you can see, things are much changed from when you were last here. Yeah, there were dead bodies all over the place still when I was last here. Uh, where is Gregor at, though? Gregor is in Denerim attending to some important business. <laughs> My name is Hadley. I lead the Templars in the Knight Commander's absence. Well, I need to get to the library. If you're looking for a book, you can start in the Index section. As the Warden Commander, you and your guests are free to explore the first floor of the tower without an escort. Good day to you. 
I see why Keeper Solon did not want me to come here. It is all too tempting to overturn the tight order of their little world. Okay, let's not be dramatic. Let's just get along to go along or whatever it is. As a child, I would break the fingers of those who poked me needlessly. Just saying. I have a good feeling about this. Come on, no time to waste. As a child, <laughs> I would break the fingers of those who poked me needlessly. Just saying. You're very grumpy. Feisty? Grumpy? Both? Oh, I need a rogue and Ariane is not a rogue. Oh, well. Have you heard the stories about the hero of Ereldon? Apparently, he once took on a lady pirate and three greased nugs. Between the sheets. <laughs> no. I'll tell you about it later. I, I, I didn't do that. Don't besmirch my honor, good ladies. That's not cool. Wow, some of the nice, nice rooms again. I love the little overheard gossip. Hello, I'm the hero for Elding you were just talking about. Nice to, nice to meet you. Although I'm probably famous now, so it's bound to happen. Okay. Right. Anything else? I was not. Oh, all right. A little. You have to admit, it's tempting, right? All these mages, so complacent, thinking they're so important. <coughs> You think I need to relax? Well, maybe. Yeah, you. I, I would agree with Alfred. You do need to relax. But I saw a Sandal. It's crazy. Let's talk to Hadley. You are well, I hope. You are well, I hope. Yes, I am well. Let's loot first. More master potions. And then, hello, Sandal. Enchantment? Sandal, what are you doing here? Enchantment! <laughs> Hello, doggy. <laughs> Sandal is staying at the tower for a while. The Tranquil are evaluating his enchanting abilities and learning a lot from him, surprisingly. Oh, that's it. Enchantment! Yes. Hmm, have you been? Yeah, where is Bodan at? Bodan is trading in Redcliffe. If you're interested in his goods, I believe Sandal has some of them to offer you. Hmm. Well, I would like to buy something then. Okay, I did spend some time emptying my bags again and buying more potions, and I also uh, equipped myself with uh, Vigilance, because apparently I, it came off me, but I thankfully still have it. My mysterious sword that everybody wants to steal from me. Basement can't get in there still hmm. but let's head this way I think it's a library over here look at all these books I've never seen so many it is quite a few isn't it I mean it's actually more than quite a few is that a pure bread Mabari I wish I had one they should allow pets in the tower don't you remember the Dragonling disaster? <laughs> His bits of Ivan still burnt onto the ceiling on the third floor. I'm talking about common pets. Dogs, cats, rats, owls, that sort of thing. <laughs> what sort of mage is an owl for a pet? Well, I know a whole genre of people who have owls for pets called Harry Potter universe. Okay. And then... Oh, index, indexes. And I wonder, can I go up? Nope. All right, well, I guess we'll just start in the A's. This is an index of books sorted alphabetically from A to F. All about weeds, balms of protection and enchantment, a catalog of elven relics, and Franny's poultice, poultice recipes. So a catalog of elven relics seems most likely. This book is these this, this book is in the mysterious artifacts section. Beginner's herbalism. Which book do you would you like to examine? Well, what does all about weeds say? 
This book is an encyclopedia of common garden weeds. A short book with recipes for basic health poultices. Cooking with herbs. The recipe for herb chicken and biscuits appears to be missing from this book. <laughs> and then this is your brain on elf root. <laughs> A battered pamphlet that informs parents on the dangers and addictive properties of elf root. Ironically, there's a fistful of dried elf root stuffed in the front cover. That's um <laughs> Oh I and I received something. I received elf root and a tempest. Oh no, the tempest room is from me. That's funny. Um so that was all about weeds, right? Or beginner's guide to herbalism? Huh. Well, let me kind of just explore around and see what else I can find. Okay, mysterious artifacts. That's where we needed to go. Talismans of Ancient Tevinter. This book details the construction and usage of folk talismans from ancient Tevinter. Chastened Charms. This book is mainly a dry treatise on chastened superstitions. A catalog of elven relics. That's probably what we need. This book is written in an ancient dialect you cannot read. I recognize the character on this page. I think it makes up part of the word Illuvian. Mm. Is this like the book you lost? Similar. The bindings are in the same style, but the script is different. This is a library, isn't it? Perhaps another book could help us translate this. Okay. Quest updated. You write at the Circle's library. You should try finding anything you can on Olivian. You found an ancient elven. Tell him with the chapter on Olivian. Find some way to translate the book. But I want to finish reading. I want to read all these books. They're kind of interesting. See, uh, scale and bone crafting the high dragon. This book contains complex recipes for crafting items from parts of a dragon's carcass. Um, okay. And then unstable solutions. You, Howd. You think you could sneak up on the mage over there? <laughs> How high do you think he'd throw those things if he turned around and saw you looming over him? lighten up. This place is like a tomb. A few surprises would be good for them. <laughs> Warden, your dog is lecturing me again. Well, don't pick on the poor defenseless. Well, they're not defenseless. The poor mages. They, they could actually light us on fire if we scare them too much. So, bombs for protection and enchantment. Recipes for various bombs and, enchant and enchantments. Let's see, Ellie's Exploding Elixirs. A thin book filled with recipes for mixtures that are guaranteed to explode. <laughs> okay. The proper use and storage of dragon's blood. A tattered scroll from Tevinter detailing what one can do with dragon blood. And then Lyrium Bomb's Factor Fiction. An old book with instructions for creating explosive devices with Lyrium. Okay, that's three of four. Potent medic medicines. Outgawk. I hear they cut out your eyes for staring at the tattoos. They do not. They do. I read it somewhere. Oh, and you believe everything you read, do you? Better safe than sorry, I say. <laughs> These two are a great source of amusement. Potent medicines, magical bombs and ointments. Collection of recipes for bombs and ointments. Okay. See, the complete compendium, compendium of poisons and antidotes. A detailed list of poisons and antidotes. Franny's poultice recipes. A small book containing recipes for homemade poultices. And how to heal a Mabari. Advice on how to treat a wounded Mabari covering everything from basic injuries to suspected possession of desi by desire demons. I don't want Alfred to become possessed. That, that, that bothers me. You'll be okay, Alfred. I promise. Okay. But I wonder, is it because I clicked on A through F 
What happens if I click on... Anything different happen? No. Doesn't look like it. Well, let's click on G through L and see what we can find. Guarding your mind, how to prevent possession, geographical oddities of Ferelden, kindling the flame and lurking horrors of the deep. Well, let's pick that one. Dangerous beast section. Oh, okay. There's none active in here anymore. So let's go back out here. There should be four new ones, right? Geography, Dangerous Beast, Mage Training, and The Fade. Let's look up Geography first since it's right here. As you wish. Secrets of the Frostbacks. A book containing paintings of the Frostback Mountains. Then Devoured from Beneath. <laughs> Written from a fatalistic viewpoint, this book theorizes that the crumbling deep roads below Ferelden will eventually cause the land to fall apart. Uh, okay. I guess anything's possible. Circle Tower of Kirkwall. This book describes the Circle Tower of Kirkwall, housed in former Tevinter Slaver Fortress. Its halls are a foreboding place, and even centuries after even centuries after the city's liberation, a circle tower in a former slave dungeon. Well, that's I'm sure you intimidate those mages. Geographical Oddities of Ferelden, a study of the stranger landscapes of Ferelden and their causes. Okay, we're all done there. How about... Found the body of the Templar who went after those apostates near Hyam. Micah, it's terrible what they did to him. They say he was force-fed so much lyrium he was bleeding from the eyes. His brain was liquefied in his skull. Can lyrium really do that? It can kill you, but... Well, you know how rumors are. Those pisses give us all a bad name. Now some Templar would take it out on an innocent mage and start the cycle all over again. Yeah, unfortunately that probably sounds accurate. The Fade. Faith, justice, and the spiritual way. Huh. A book on the benevolent spirits of the Fade. Well, I met justice. It's kind of benevolent. The Black City. This book is a collection of essays written on the Black City. Guarding your mind how to prevent per possession. This book contains exercises for strengthening mental barriers. And then Martha's Adventures in the Fade. What? This seems to be a book for young mage children. It contains colorful pictures depicting demons as cute, smiling monsters. I... Would that be why some mages think it's okay to like make deals with demons? That's 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 not okay. All right, dangerous beasts. Lurking horrors of the deep. This book contains entries on the giant squid and the bony whale shark from the Anderfells now extinct. Lothering heights. <laughs> This book appears to be on the wrong shelf. Is that like Withering Heights? <laughs> uh, the Dragons of Navarra. A book detailing the different groups of dragons once found in Navarra. And then Deep Stalkers and Nugs. A book about various subterranean creatures. Well, Nugs seem to be okay, except they squeak really loudly. I remember that from um, one, two. You hear what's going on up in Kirkwall? In the free marches, Dolt. Half of Ferelden fled there in the blight. They say there's a refugee camp twice as big as the city. Whole place is run by Templars, though, so no one is getting in. They heard what happened here. Made them kind of jumpy. Everyone's a critic. Well, their circle's kept in a slaver's den, so, um, they'll probably be okay. Mage training. Kindling the flame. This outlines instructions on how to control fire spells. Autonomous Prodigy, Volume 3, Hexes. An in-depth guide on the creation of hexes, curses, and other charms. A scribble note on the inside cover references a book on technique in the self-improvement section. Okay. Strained wrists and stiff necks. <laughs> 
This is a detailed explanation on common mage injuries. <laughs> yes. We're, we're going to move on. Uh, lightning storms in your room. Well, I, I guess that could happen, right? My keyboard's on vacation. The, sub, the subtitle reads, A Fun Activity Book for Young Apprentices. <laughs> okay, none. Let's see. That seems to be all the ones from that section. Oh, self-improvement. Let's get started. Uh, the Willpower Workout. A self-directed program for overcoming low levels of spiritual energy. You notice a chapter near the back which calls upon some kind of mental workout device. As your eyes glance over the last paragraph, you hear a distant gust of wind. I don't know if that's good or not. Staff repair, not just a task for the tranquil. This is an overview of restoring staves overwhelmed by their owners. <laughs> Tome of Technique, Use It or Lose It. This is a this is a training manual for Templars and other melee warriors. A note inside the cover reads, For those forever in pursuit of perfection, Alderic or Legion Order of the Templars. Okay, well, we'll take the book, sure. And then Healing Your Robes. <laughs> a handy guide to fixing terrors and magical vestments. I wonder what I got. Wrong, wrong. Items received. Oh, a Tome of Physical Technique. So I get uh, to use a talent spell. Okay, well, I think that's actually where I'm going to end it for today. Tomorrow we'll continue on reading the indexes, because I find these very amusing, and I'm getting stuff out of it. And we'll go on from there in our search for Morrigan. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Dragon Age Origins video.